So I'm here with Kyle Rodriguez. He's a member of the Everett Community College uh, baseball team. And, and Kyle, you're here at the NWAC tournament for the second time. Uh, what things are you hoping to experience and accomplish this year that you guys didn't do last year? Um, a big thing is starting off with that first win. Uh, last year we had LC, which was one of the top teams, which was huge. And um, I think that first loss kind of set a little tone for us. And I think getting this first game out of the way is going to be huge. And so that's our main focus right now, one game at a time. Absolutely. You know, coming out strong out of the gate always helps get your mind focused, get it going. And for you, you know, here at Everett, what things really kind of uh, drew you to this program? What things really were, um, you know, factors in making you commit to, to Everett? Uh, yeah, so uh, out of high school, I didn't really have, like, too many offers. Um, a close friend of mine and a teammate now, Kenny, um, he kind of opened up the – Open up the way to like look at Everett, and I got a phone call from Levi Lacey, which was a former coach here, and he kind of invited me. He said he wanted me to come out, and I knew their past history. They're a big school; they always put up numbers. So I just it chose me. It felt like so. Yeah, Levi was a great coach, very uh, very inspirational and connected with his players. You can tell that from seeing him. And then, you know, growing up, you know, a lot of players will idolize, mimic, you know, major leaguers. Is there a player that you looked at and say, no, I like the way they play, I want to kind of be like that same style, or, or is it just a team that you followed? Uh, yeah, for sure. It's um, Growing up, definitely looking at, it's kind of cliche, but Derek Jeter, um, just like his leadering style. And I, I was never the type to be a leader and speak up, but I always wanted to get to that point, and so I really looked at his style, how he played hard, uh, even how old he ended up playing until he retired, but he, he just gave his all every day, and that's what I ultimately wanted to do. Yeah, Jeter was definitely, he almost was a, a leader even when he wasn't talking. He always take that take that role. And then, you know, also growing up, it takes people to, to push you, to motivate you. Um, is there someone in your life or individuals in your life that you looked and said, you know, yeah, I'm here because of what they invest in me? Uh, yeah, I think it, it started just growing up with like my parents. They've always pushed me to, to get the best out of me. And then more on the baseball side is just my coaches growing up, my summer coaches. I've had a good share of those, and then especially my college coaches. And, uh, they really pushed me just more than baseball, being a man, and just like how to go out about like to live your life. And yeah, and just like the teammates, like our culture we have this year, the, our team, our teammate really like holds people accountable. And yeah, they motivate each other every day. And then, you know, going from high school to college, you know, it's a big change. I mean, not just academically, but on the baseball field. I mean, everything's a change. What things did you have to adjust to and really kind of learn as you made that transition? Uh, so college ball, it's a lot. The, I'll say the game speeds up um, for sure. Uh, the game get really fast on you. can seem like it's just pitch after pitch after pitch before you even get like a prep step and then feel get ready for pitch. So I think the biggest thing is uh, being able to slow the game down, being mentally, find the mental side of the sport and that's the biggest part is being in the moment and then you know baseball is really a game of routine um, you do the same thing day in day out but is there even a for you not just a routine but even a level of superstition that you have or is it really just going out there and taking care of business uh, when I was older it was a lot of superstition uh, or younger I mean and then as I got older it, I kind of got into routine um, I like to meditate and stretch mm -hmm. like it starts the night before and then going into it, I just stick to my defense routine, which is like uh, doing picks, picks, and then hitting routines, which is a lot of no baseball stuff. It's like a lot of timing, finding my rhythm. And so, yeah, and then go, uh, go to business. After that, so. And then, you know, last question I have for you. You know, you're at the ball field. There's always a lot of people around, a lot of kids especially. What advice would you have for those kids that want to uh, play the college level? I said my biggest advice is you're going to face a lot of adversity and to really invest in the mental side of the game. Like it's a, a lot of guys get caught up in the physical aspect, but as, the more, as you get older, you're going to want more mental information and how to slow your breathing down and all that good stuff. So being able to push through adversity is my biggest thing. Awesome. Well, thank you very much.